John Fedger here with mobilehomeinvesting.net. We're talking about everyone's favorite topic, mobile home smells. <laughs> if you're an active mobile home investor, if you're living in a mobile home, if you're buying a mobile home, if you own some mobile home parks or a park manager, if you're going through mobile homes, you're gonna deal with mobile home smells. That's slightly unpleasant smells to awful smells to totally disgusting smells that you can hardly stand for just a matter of a few seconds before you have to like run out of the home. So let's talk about this. Uh, on this side of the board, you have uh, different areas of a mobile home where there could be smells and kind of how to attack it. We're gonna like, kind of like bird's eye view, you know, where are the problem areas and what to do. Then I wanna uh, zoom in to the actual different smells and talk about what works best on those specific smells uh, in all of my experience and what I've learned over the years. So let's talk about some things, the first being the ceiling and walls. Smells can absolutely happen in the ceiling and the walls. We want to fix the leak. If the smell is coming from a leak uh, somewhere in the ceiling, we want to fix that. We want to correct and fix any major wood rot. We want to remove and clean mold. We'll talk a little bit more about mold over in this side and how to actually address it. There are some ways that are better than the others. We also want to remove any dead animals that may be in the ceiling. Uh, as well, if you can get into the ceiling uh, crawl space area, you may want to remove some dead animals. And then also talking about the walls, here we're, we're removing the smells, we're fixing the issues, we're removing the smells, and then when we paint the walls, when we're talking about the actual walls of a mobile home, we can actually, uh, if there's cigarette smoke, if there's uh, smoke, if there's smells that are just trapped into the paneling, trapped into the drywall, this strategy right here of painting the walls with a Kills, K-I-L-Z, or a Zinzer type of product, this is a primer, it's a paint primer. Oil base typically works the best, and what that does is it traps the smells into the walls. So the smells are still there, but they're trapped in the walls and and they, they aren't noticeable uh, from the inside of the mobile home or from the outside of the mobile home as well. So that's on the ceiling and the walls. Next we move to the floor and we're, when we're talking about the floor, the tile, the linoleum, if you smell something, if there's obviously a smell coming from the carpet, we wanna vacuum it, we wanna steam clean the carpet. Now sometimes when we steam clean it ourselves or hire a company, it can actually bring more of that urine, more of that smell, whatever's trapped down there, um, it can bring that up and it can actually smell worse, but you may want to try that, you know, try vacuum it, try deep cleaning it, try removing the carpets. Now, if you get to a point where you have to remove the carpets, that means that that smell, whatever came from the animal, the food, the, um, you know, decomposing organic compound, whatever, you know, was left to sit in that area that, that causes that, that smell, whatever smell you're dealing with, if you can't vacuum it up, if you can't deep clean it and remove it that way, you may have to remove the carpet. And if it's gone through the carpets, it's probably gone through the padding and it's probably in the subfloor. The subfloor is typically a plywood or a particle board or an OSB type of pressed board. Uh, it's some type of wood material. Um, and what we can do, there's two typical things we can do. We can either trap the smell into the wood the same way that we did with the walls. We can use a Kills or a Zinzer type of oil-based paint uh, primer product or the same thing, it's a poly, well, it's not the same thing. It typically works a little bit better, but it's a polyurethane applied with a lamb's wool applicator. And that's just going to be for the subfloor itself. We don't want to use a polyurethane on the walls, on the drywall and on the uh, paneling on the walls, we can use a, a, a Kills type of product or a Zinzer, but on the subfloor, on the wood itself, we want to go ahead and trap the smell into the floor with either a, the, the, the Kills product, or a polyurethane, which is two separate kind of products. Uh, and again, you would just want to use that on the subfloor. Or you could remove and replace it. Now, I will say that all of these fixes, they'll get rid of a lot of the smells. Anything that you do to, a, and we'll get to the, this more here, but everything that you do to help uh, alleviate a smell, remove a smell, um, inhibit a smell, cover up a smell, it's going to do something. It's gonna take that smell away a little bit. But if you really have a terrible, terrible uh, smell, a terrible problem, and, and you can't seem to get rid of the issue, and you're getting down on your hands and knees, and you know that the smell is coming from a piece of the subfloor, you can go ahead and remove it and replace it. And that will, of course, get rid of that smell. I'm talking cat urine is, is common. 
Uh, cat urine, out of all the urines, typically smells the worst. It has the most compounds that uh, we can smell and it stays and it lasts and cats want to pee on it again, which cause even more of those compounds. So that's talking about the subfloor. Let's move to the drains now. We'll go in this direction. We can have a drain cleaner. The, uh, if you notice that the smell is coming from the drain, a drain cleaner, white vinegar is more of an, uh, a natural solution. Also, you can pour bleach down the drain. That may help get rid of some of the smells. The ducts in your mobile home, uh, you can remove all of the junk, all of the debris, all of the food inside of the ducts. That's quite common. In mobile home, ducts are typically in the floor. And just over time, you'll have people, not you, of course, but people that just shove or Things just happen to where food gets down there, toys get down there, organic things get down there, and it can cause a smell, obviously. And then underneath the mobile home, uh, similar to the ducks, we want to remove the junk, we want to remove the dead animal, fix the broken pipes, whatever that smell is coming from. If it's a human feces type of smell or a dead animal type of smell, you can obviously remove the animals. If it's a feces type of smell, like a human waste type of smell, the broken pipes may be coming from the toilet going right onto the ground, or there might be a small leak or a big leak. We want to fix that and also fix the skirting. Underneath the mobile home, there should be air that can pass freely. Uh, not a lot of air, not enough to let rodents or animals get in between the skirting but there should be proper skirting that can allow for uh, to keep rodents and animals out but then allow ventilation allow air to move uh, and flow underneath the mobile home uh, to keep it cooler and to not let uh, it get too humid underneath the mobile home because that's when mold and mildew can start to form all right now let's kind of zoom in we were talking about bird's eye view you know where the smells are what can we do to help prevent or not prevent them what can we do to help solve them now let's actually talk about some of these smells when you have the smells what type of products or methods or solution typically work the best to fix these types of smells one of the most common smells you're gonna come across is urine from cats, from dogs, from other pets. And you may not know that it's bad right away, but the first thing you wanna do is air out the mobile home. Air out the mobile home, see how much that helps, and then possibly use an ozone treatment machine. If you're not familiar with an ozone machine, it turns O2, the common oxygen in the air, it turns O2 into O3, helping smells oxidize quicker, and that helps remove the smell because of science. I will link another video that talks about uh, how it exactly works uh, below in this video, but O3 machines or ozone machines work really well to help get rid of smells. Now, if there's a bad urine smell in the mobile home, you might think that you might want to vacuum, but you may skip past that and usually you'll deep clean. You'll hire somebody or you'll do it yourself and you'll realize that, okay, this isn't fixing it. This made the smell a little bit worse. I can still smell things. Uh, you know, it smells just like I cleaned the carpets, but it's still just an awful uh, urine smell. Well, in that case, we want to go ahead and try to use chemicals, chemicals that break down uh, the, the urine smell, chemicals that help mask the urine smell, and if that doesn't work, we want to go ahead and remove the carpet and use a Kills type of primer sealer or a Zinzer type of product or a polyurethane type of product that we talked about earlier to go ahead and trap and seal the smell into the subfloor. And if that doesn't fix it, we can remove part of the subfloor and we can replace it uh, with a similar size piece of subfloor to remove that smell completely. And of course, if the animals are still in the home peeing, we want to, of course, remove them, remove the cause of the smell uh, in the first place. Now, things are very similar with a medium urine problem. You want to go ahead and air out the home, ozone treat the home a couple times. You can vacuum, you can deep clean the carpets, also the cabinets. Uh, the smell can get into the cabinets as well. When I say clean the cabinets, I just mean wash the cabinets uh, with some warm water, with a rag, with some Dawn detergent. We can also use chemicals, enzymes that help break down uh, the smell in the carpet, in the floor. Here are some odor eliminating chemicals that do work and that are recommended by this channel. Links are found in the description. Now if chemicals don't work, you can pull the carpet up and then of course trap the smell into the floor itself. Now at that point you'll put a floor covering back on such as tile, such as linoleum, such as carpet, and the smell should be removed. 
Cigarette smoke is a very common smell that you're gonna smell in a number of mobile homes. And when we go to resell a mobile home, this is gonna look bad, it's gonna smell bad, it's gonna be a bad first impression if anybody walks through this home and just smells and reeks of cigarettes. Uh, maybe not if somebody smokes a couple packs of cigarettes every day or they can't smell personally themselves, but we're gonna go ahead and remove that cigarette smell uh, in most situations. So what we wanna do is air out the mobile home, really air it out, turn the fans on, get a couple box fans in there, air out the home as much as possible. You can treat with an ozone machine as well, and we can also vacuum the carpets. A lot of that smoke smell, it's, it can actually tint the walls, tint the carpets, and stain them a separate color. If you take off pictures, you'll see the, the original wall paint, and then you'll see the wall paint that's just been tainted. Uh, over years and years of smoke and nicotine that's just been caked onto the walls. We also want to deep clean. We can deep clean the carpets and we can also wash the cabinets. There are some chemicals on the market that are made specifically for cigarette smoke that you can try as well. These are going to all help take some of the smell away, but they won't do everything on their own. You typically have to use a combination of these products or strategies to remove the entire cigarette smell. Now again, if the smell is still in the carpet, it's still in the subfloor, it's still in the walls, then we can go ahead and remove the carpet. Uh, you don't wanna remove the walls, you can keep the walls, the drywall or the paneling, but you can trap the smell in there using a Kills or a Zinzer type of oil-based primer product. When I prime the walls this way and then sell the mobile home, typically the tenant buyer or the buyer is actually pleasantly surprised. They understand that uh, they can go ahead and paint the walls any color that they want. They're actually grateful that I went ahead and primed the walls for them and made it just a, a blank palette for the new buyer to come in and paint to their choosing. Old food smells can be one of the worst smells in a mobile home. And that's because it can be so concentrated. Typically this comes directly from the fridge itself or the table or the cabinets when people just leave or they're evicted or they leave in the middle of the night and they don't clean up the home, they don't clean up the fridge and then the power goes off and all that food is just rotting in the cabinets and the fridge. Um, and it can cause or just a really, really bad smell. So we absolutely want to remove the food. We want to air out the home, potentially ozone treat the property as well, and use some chemical and enzyme cleaners to break down and or mask the smell. You want to keep airing out the home and this should do wonders to get rid of the old food smell. Mold and mildew certainly has a smell. Now anywhere there is moist, stagnant air, where the relative humidity is about 60% or higher, and the air just isn't circulating all that much, mold can grow in the northern states and the southern states. Mold and mildew can develop. Even if your home is sitting vacant for a couple weeks, some mildew can develop on the walls. Some mold can develop on the walls. This can just be a tiny bit of mold in a small corner. This can be caused from uh, the, the relative uh, humidity in the mobile home itself itself settling on the walls. It can come from a leak inside of the walls itself or from a pipe causing mold to grow because it's extra humid, extra or not extra humid, but it's extra moist due to that source of water. So we have to understand, is this a small mold issue or a super large mold issue where an entire wall is just covered with mold and when you go into the wall, there's just thick furry mold inside. So there's obviously a clear difference between a, a light mold problem and a, and a severe mold problem. And the first thing we want to do is go ahead and get some airflow in this, air out the mobile home and let's see exactly what we're working with. We can use an ozone treatment or two or three to help clean the air and get rid of the smell. Then we want to identify where the mold and the mildew is. If it's a small amount of mold or mildew, we can get rid of it with a chemical cleaner, such as one of these products. Or once most of the mold is removed, you can go ahead and use a rag with some warm water and some Dawn dish detergent to get rid of the mold. Harsh chemicals such as bleach can cause the mold to release particles in the air that are dangerous to humans. Once all the mold and mildew is cleaned and removed, it's removed, it's cleaned, you can go one step further and actually trap and seal whatever you are working on, whether it's the wall studs, whether it's the drywall itself, whether it's the paneling or the ceiling or the floor. And if the mold is simply too severe or we're talking about mold inside of the insulation or throughout a piece of drywall, we can go ahead and simply remove and replace that material. 
Another smell you may experience every now and then is feces. This is typically from cats or dogs that poop directly onto the carpet or on the floor. Uh, sometimes it can come from the bathroom itself if humans uh, go to the bathroom and then don't flush it or it just stays in there for too long. What you want to do is get some gloves uh, for cats and dogs and just pick up that dried feces that is typically on the floor. Uh, if it's in the carpet, it'll be tough to, to kind of sweep it up. Or you can just get rid of the entire carpet as well if that carpet is too far gone. But the first thing you want to do is remove the cause of the smell in the first place. After that, you can air out the home, and from that point, you can go ahead and do an ozone treatment. You can deep clean the carpets, also the cabinets as well, to make sure that smell is just completely removed from the home. Also, you're gonna to wanna to use some chemical cleaners that have enzymes that can break down and mask the smell. You typically will not have to remove or replace anything, or trap or paint the walls or seal anything in the walls uh, when it comes to feces. That's typically not needed. There are certainly other smells that you're gonna run into. However, dead insect smells and dead animal smells, you may come across as well. You wanna remove the dead insects, as many as you can or as much as you can. They may be in the walls, they may be in the ceiling, uh, decomposing, and that's what that smell is. Uh, and we wanna go ahead and remove those insects as much as possible and also air out the home. Ozone treat the property a couple times as needed. Deep clean the carpet, deep clean the cabinets uh, with chemicals, with harsh chemicals and enzymes that break down the smell help mask the smell as well uh, and if there is uh if there's material in the home, in the walls, in the ceiling, in the insulation, where that smell is being trapped, we can remove those materials and replace them with fresh materials. I hope all this helps and makes sense. Did we miss anything? Do you have any other tips? I'm sure that you do. Please comment below, and if you have any tips, suggestions, things that are helpful, chemicals or uh, strategies that I didn't mention here on this video, please go ahead and link them below. Uh, if they would be helpful to the group, that would be much appreciated. If you have any direct questions or uh, specific specific questions, you can go ahead and comment them below or email me directly at support at mobilehomeinvesting.net. That's support at mobilehomeinvesting.net. If you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to get uh, future videos as they come out. Uh, if you have any other questions, like I said, reach out. Thank you so much for watching this video. Keep investing, keep helping people, keep cleaning out these homes and providing good properties for future buyers. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.